Hello everyone, welcome to the Dental Cart YouTube channel. I am Dr. Aisha and at Dental Cart, we aim to empower dental professionals. In order to do that today, the topic we have selected for you are dental loops. There has been a lot of questions asked about dental loop on our channel. How to select a dental loop, what are the type of lenses and much more. To simplify all of these, we have come with four important topics today that we are going to discuss about dental loop. Number one, what are the indications to use a dental loop? Number two, what are the kind of lenses that there is in dental loop? Number three, how to select a dental loop for yourself? What are the important points related to that? And number four, field and magnifications. So let's dive into the first topic first of all. Indications to why to use a dental loop. There are three simple points in this that we are going to discuss. So let's dive into the first topic. Enhancing postural correction. Well, dentist health is as important as the patient's comfort and patient's health. But when it comes to postural correction, we tend to forget our postural correction and postural indications that has been given to us in our dental colleges why there's a lot of work how to see i'm not able to see it's not a focused area and lots more where dental loop can give you a magnified and fine field of working you will be able to see from a distance and that will help you with your postural correction do remember it is important to have a good posture as a bad posture can lead into serious musculoskeletal diseases in your life so postural correction is one of the important points number two weakening of eye or loss of nearby vision when we start aging. Aging also results in weakening of eye. Dental loops can magnify the field for you and you can work from a safer distance, also can see a lot better and a lot clearly by two and dental loops. Number three, fine and defined field of working. What do we mean by fine and defined field of working? In processes with such as endodontic or any precise work that we need to do, a focused area of working is going to help us do it much more better so dental loop also helps us in that magnification now let's dive into the second topic how many type of lenses are there in our dental loops now in dental loops there are two category of lenses number one is a galilean lens and number two is a prismatic lens where galilean lens is somewhere from 2x to 3.5x prismatic lens is anything beyond 3.5 to 6s lens. Now what is the difference? It will give you a different kind of magnification and it will give you a different kind of field of working that we'll discuss in our fourth way. Now number three, how to select a dental loop for yourself? Well there are four important points that you need to remember while you're selecting a dental loop for yourself. Number one, working distance. Number two, depth of field. Number three, field of view. And number four, distance from the lens. As you can see in the picture and make out that these are the four important points. If you ask me about what kind of lens you should select after knowing all of these or as a beginner what kind of lens should you go for I would always advise you about if you're a beginner two would be two less but I would say 2.5 is one of the important lens that I personally started with so I would always recommend you that reason being when you grow in your practice you would eventually grow on the lens size too so start with less magnification so you have a better field of working and then you can move to higher ones so we are at the fourth point and the last point of the topic magnification and field area now while magnification and field area can be depicted by this picture to simplify it the more magnification the lens has the defined working field area it would have the lesser magnification you would choose you will have a larger area of field to see and work on now let's see what kind of loop do I have today and how much magnification does it does for ourselves. Now this is a 2.5x loop. This is a band type loop and you can, what I mean by the band type is you can attach it like this on your head. So even if you have a powered lens, you can easily use this kind of loop. It is very easily attachable. Also it has this adjusting band so you can adjust the loop according to your eyesight wherever you want it to be you can according to your patient position you can comfortably attach it to your eye size and you can adjust it to your eye focal length right this is how this loop works here is that example for a 2.5 and also here's an example for 3.5 
so these were the magnifications i hope this video has answered a lot of questions about dental loop for you if you have any more questions comment down below and we will try to help you with those as well thank you for watching the video subscribe to our youtube channel to be connected to us also please download the dental card app to be connected to the industry thank you for watching again and see you next time